Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to give you my um, 32 week uh, 32 week update. Um, so 32 weeks, I'm feeling good. I have a little tinge of lower back ache but um, it's not unbearable. And I find myself kind of pushing, fo leaning forward and sitting forward instead of lounging back. Uh, it feels weird to like curl my spine up these days or doing even cat pose. So yeah. And one of the goals that I have this week is learning about breastfeeding. I already took a course on it, but got to refresh my birthing class that I took. We took our birthing class away way early so we'll refresh um i need to refresh myself on that and we um got some baby shower gifts which is this one breast pump that i'm gonna look up on youtube to figure out how to use it so i'm ready for that and the other physical update i have is i have been getting braxton hicks at first i didn't know what it was uh, my stomach would get really hard and i just thought that oh this is just the baby spinning head down um or just like spinning around <laughs> or just like stretching out and it's making my stomach feel like heavy and hard but um after doing some you know google research as everyone does i saw i found out that when your your belly gets hard or um it gets hard and it feels like some pressure. That's a Braxton Hicks contraction. So that was interesting that I am now experiencing that from time to time. And we went to our, um, now Now that I'm 32 weeks, we do bi-weekly checkups at the doctor that I see. And um, she told me that baby is head down. So I'm so happy about that. Baby is head down. Um, so good job to my baby <laughs> and right now I weigh 139 with the baby and I don't want my baby to be too big because then it'll be hard to birth I think if I'm wrong about that please leave in the comments and let me know but yeah I think I think my max that I want to weigh is 144 just so the baby is not too big and I'm not overeating or anything like that I continue to do my workouts, just more walking on the treadmill and also not li lifting as heavy. I've been doing like five pounds, which is, I usually try to do 20, but five pounds is good enough for me these days. And I've been getting more sweaty quicker, sweaty quicker, and then also out of breath quicker in the cardio. Uh, and then we met with our birth doula. We finalized the birth plan. So she's going to write it up in a way that is not so long and lanky. I wrote mine so long and lanky. We went through all of it, took about an hour and hopefully she'll sum it up nicely. So it's understandable. <laughs> and I've been scheduling my parents coming. I've been having a lot of anxiety about my parents coming for some reason because um, I'm Vietnamese, so it's also it's it's in our culture to take care of our parents, and so um, so it's kind of like whoa, well I'm gonna give birth and I won't be available to schedule them dinner or make them dinner or schedule them activities. Uh, so I had to let my mom know that this is going to be a time where, you know, basically I, I won't be able to help out that much or cater to what they need. <laughs> so scheduling that and communicating that was probably the hardest part of this week. Um, and then uh, because I've been so I know that my baby is going to be due in December, I still want to get Christmas gifts out. So I already finished my Christmas shopping. So as you can tell, I have like presents wrapped up, ready to go. I've done all my Christmas cards um, to to like my students, my yoga students. <laughs> But the only thing left is we are going to do a maternity shoot. 
uh, in the beginning of November. And then that will be the Christmas card that we send out to everybody. So I've been doing a lot of planning for that. And Halloween is this weekend. And this will be the first Halloween where I'm not wearing something skimpy. So uh, ex-party girl used to love Halloween dressing up. Now, um, I don't know, my husband and I will probably just chill at home and maybe we'll go to the Golden Gate Park events on Friday. And uh, my friends who are not pregnant and are still, you know, going to, I'm a little jealous, they're still going to Halloween parties and getting to wear their cute costumes. Um, hopefully I get to do that after my baby's out. And how is my sleep? My sleep has been like this. <laughs> um, it takes me a bit to fall asleep. Cause, and then I, I flip from left side to right side, left side to right side, because my neck kind of gets tired. But um, when the baby is super active, I'm awake. And sometimes it's easy to fall back asleep and sometimes it's not. So last night was one of the times where it wasn't as easy to fall asleep. So that kind of sucked, but it's okay because at least I don't have to, um, I have the option to take a nap during the day. <laughs> so, because I'm not, I'm officially on my maternity leave. I'm not teaching any yoga classes. So I'm just chilling and waiting for the baby. Uh, but yeah, if you are 32 weeks, tell me what your experience is like. and. Um, yeah, keep me updated, follow my uh, channel, like and subscribe, and I will see you next week with more updates.